Those are much larger than normal. This horse's problem is in the top joint of his carpus, or what's commonly referred to in the horse as the knee. This is the horse's pre-op x-rays. He has chip fractures above and below that joint surface. You can see the piece off of the bone there, and the little piece off there. And then he has a chip fracture here on the outside of the joint. The fracture fragment rubbing on the parent bone, shedding the debris into that joint is what really causes him the problem. That causes the pain, the lameness, and eventually the arthritis. I need to make a small hole about a quarter of an inch so that I can insert the protector for the arthroscope. He has several sites where he has small fragments, so I'll get them out first. This is a fragment of bone that was inside of his joint. Most people have the misconception that what actually hurts the horse is the chip inside the joint like a stone in your shoe, but that's rarely the case. What bothers the horse is this debris that I'm taking out now. See how pink those are? And they're swollen, and they sort of look like fingers, and that's because they're taking this debris out of the joint that's coming from the side of these fragments. When I remove the fragments, the bone will scar over, and that debris will no longer be shed inside the joint. It's the debris that causes the damage and it's this inflammation of these villi that would later become arthritis for this horse. The good thing about this joint is that color of the cartilage. Very white, should be opaque. The joint that starts to get arthritis, this surface becomes yellow and furry looking, which we call fibrillation. Interestingly, this is tolerable for a racehorse, but even much more severe damage than this is very tolerable for a riding horse. You would think that a horse that jumps and bends his knee back coming over a jump would have more trouble with this kind of injury, but they have very little trouble with it. It's the racehorse that has the most trouble with the high speed exercise. It'll take about six weeks, 42 days, for him to form a scar. And this horse's prognosis is excellent.